Hey there, bars open. So let's review the Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey. Hey, SG Alcohol Guy here, making use of my Wines and Spirits certification to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. As mentioned, today I'll be reviewing the Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey. But before that, you know, let's explain what a bourbon is. Uh, in simple terms, a bourbon is a whiskey. It's just that to be called a bourbon, you know, certain criteria has to be met. Specifically, 51% uh, of the mash, which is the ingredients that you distill to, to get the liquor, 51% of that has to be corn. Also, after you distill out the, the spirits and you want to age them in a barrel, to again qualify as a bourbon, it has to be aged in new charred oak barrels, right? To give that smoky flavor. And these two criteria must be met in order for a whiskey to be classified as a bourbon. So in a nutshell, all bourbons are whiskies, but not all whiskies are bourbons. And as usual, I will be drinking them neat with a couple of drops of water and finally with ice. And I'll let you know how they smell and taste. Ultimately, if I don't like it neat with water or chilled, then I will open a can of Coke, which means that this will not be an alcohol you can drink by itself. And this bullet bourbon frontier whiskey is retailing at 64. Singapore dollars. For that, you get a 700 ml bottle with 45% alcohol content. So a bit smaller than the Jim Beam I reviewed previously, but with 5% more alcohol content, yeah, hopefully it's worth it. Starting off with a small glass of meat. Now I'm going to use a tulip glass again, uh, just let it swirl a little bit, let it breathe a little. And if you want to check the scent of whiskies as you swirl it in the tulip glass, you can simply put your nose over it and just savor in the aroma. And it's not very promising. It has very strong alcohol smell. Again, not unlike varnish or nail polish remover. But this time round, the legs are taking a long time to come back down much much longer compared to Jim Beam. It's still visible here and color wise it's a little bit more amber compared to the Jim Beam as well. It, it feels like it has aged a little bit better but we won't know until we have a taste test. And by itself, well the smell does have that, you know, that, that lecture nail polish smell, it disappears as quickly as it enters your mouth. So it does enter my nose for a bit, but then the moment the, the bourbon touches my tongue, I have a very pleasant drinking sensation. It actually is very sweet. I can't taste any smokiness or, 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 or charred taste whatsoever. And there's very little to no whiskey burn going down as well. So it's actually very comfortable drinking it neat. So let's add some water and see if the taste gets elevated. Again, swirl it a little bit just to mix in the, the water with the bourbon. And as expected, the alcohol smell is reduced, sweetness is elevated. Again, this is just the scent. Taste test too. Next to no difference initially to drinking it neat, surprisingly, it leaves a much longer aftertaste. It lingers at the back of my throat. The taste is not going down at all. Again, no charred flavor. And as, it, you, know, as you try to drink it, no alcohol, that, that lacquer and nail polish smell. Nothing enters my nose. It's just exactly what it was in meat. Uh, except without that smell, but it actually stays a lot longer at the back, which is very interesting considered it's diluted. Let's see the chilled version. Just a small portion, you know, I didn't drink too much. 
And as I let the bourbon mix and chill, uh, I have actually received a comment from a personal DM anyway, uh, asking if I actually finish the alcohols that I pour out. Because it seems like I do multiple reviews in a day, so it's not that possible to finish it. My friends, I'm the SG alcohol guy. I finish my alcohols. Now that this has chilled sufficiently, sense-wise, very beautiful. It became very elegant. It smells very elegant, rather. Um, even the sweetness became mild and fragrant as opposed to, you know, just sweet corn. So chilling it makes it smell better. But does it taste better? It says true. And taste-wise, very amazing. The, the sweetness might have been elevated to become from sweet to fragrant, but it doesn't translate into my tongue. It doesn't translate anywhere in my mouth. I get a very raw whiskey flavor. While I'm saying raw, it's actually quite well crafted. It's quite well made, actually. Um, it doesn't burn, it doesn't bite. It just tastes rich and full on my tongue. Nothing at all is going down my throat, as in flavor-wise. Uh, nothing at all is going down further beyond that. Absolutely nothing. All the flavor is now in my mouth, on my tongue. I'm salivating just by taking a sip. So this is a very interesting bourbon whiskey, where by itself, it's definitely drinkable. Even better if you add in some water. But if you had enough of the sweetness of this whiskey, and you just want the base whiskey flavor, the base bourbon flavor, then chill it, and it's going to be a lot more enjoyable in that form. So I think at 64 Singapore dollars per bottle, while it's not a 750 ml, it's only 700 ml, this is value for money. Hey there, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these uh, reviews are my personal tastes and preferences, not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, would like to hear what you think about the Bullet Bourbon Frontier Whiskey. Uh, drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. And if you're still watching, help me click on the like button plus the subscribe button if you haven't already, and the notification bell because I do upload two new videos every week. And more importantly, my friends who think I don't finish my alcohol, happy drinking!